Sadly, it's almost the end of comfort food season. So today I thought I'd get in under the wire with a little mini meatball stroganoff. Yum. <laughs> So the meat fill, the meatballs for this dish are actually the filling that I use for meat cannelloni. The gravy's a little different, but it's an equally delicious filling if you just wanna make a bechamel sauce, stuff it inside cannelloni, bake it off in the oven. For the base for the meatballs, we're using an equal amount of ground veal and ground chicken. It's very tender, very buttery. You can switch that up if you like, switch out the veal for beef, switch out the chicken for pork. That's more traditional, right? The mixture of beef and pork. Um, but I'm telling you, I stand behind this choice. So two pounds of meat all day. I have veal and chicken, as I said, and I'm gonna season that with salt. And instead of black pepper, I like to use white pepper in this dish. To that, I'm going to add a little bit of cooled, completely cooled, finely chopped onion and garlic. To that, a little breadcrumb, about three quarters of a cup. And then we're going to moisten the breadcrumb with a little half and half, or cream or whole milk, any of those will work. You wanna keep this nice and moist. To that, we're going to add in one egg, boop. And then here's the secret ingredient, the mousse style pate. So this is a little thin slice from the store. Uh, this was a duck and pork combo. Um, and this is just straight up chicken liver. See, it's like a mousse. You put in just a little bit, a couple of ounces. It's weird, but let me tell you, it makes these like crazy, like mouth watering, insanely good. So then you gotta take your rings off. A uh, little drizzle of olive oil in here to help them brown in the oven. We're going to roast these, one kind of a small, a little bit smaller than a golf ball size. We're gonna roast these on a piece of parchment paper in a 400 degree oven until they're lightly golden and just cooked through. Don't overcook them. They're tiny little meatballs, it won't take long. Now, if you want, you can use a small scoop. I'd say like a one, one and a half ounce scoop is all you need for these. I've been rolling meatballs since I was a meatball, since I was a little <laughs> kid. So I don't need me no scoop, but it does help if you wanna go a little faster and you're not used to rolling meatballs. The gravy portion of this starts out with some sliced mushrooms, and then I add some shallots, and you could throw some garlic in this too if you want. Uh, now we're going to add in a little paprika into the butter, shallot, garlic, mushroom mixture. A little Worcestershire sauce to highlight the beefy quality of the mushrooms. A sprinkle of flour to help thicken up our bone broth, or bone stock, or stock in a box. Stir that in. Now we can add in our broth or brodo. And then we're gonna let this thicken up. We're gonna cook up some extra wide egg noodles. Sauce, we're gonna finish with a little heavy cream. A little butter on the noodles after you dra drain them off. A Couple of dabs of butter. Then we're going to take fresh herbs, dill, parsley, and chive, toss them with the egg noodles. Now you have buttered herb egg noodles. We added the cream to our gravy, and now we're gonna add about a half a cup of sour cream as well, in combination to our mushroom shallot. And I forgot to tell you, I add a little sherry, or you could put in a splash of white wine when you first put in the flour there. The last special fun twist is some Dijon mustard. A couple tablespoons of Dijon. I know. <laughs> and then we're gonna take about half of that sauce and ladle it down over the eggy noodles. And then we're going to take all of our little chicken and veal meatballs and put them into the remaining gravy like a little hot tub of love. <laughs> and mix that all together. Oh! <laughs> My mom take her coffee mug and we're gonna scoop egg noodles into the bowl. We're gonna scoop some balls down over. 